What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is another hockey card insert video. Today I'm basically going over, I went and bought uh, two 2013-2014 blaster boxes, so today I'm going to be sharing the inserts that I pulled out of them. Some retro cards, rookie cards, I actually got quite a bit. I got about 15 retro cards, about 15 rookie cards, and then some more other inserts, just a couple uh, odds and ends if you will. So we're just going to get right into it. Comment down below if I do pronounce the name wrong, so I, I try not to do it, but I do it on occasion. I am learning, and it's something people hate me for, but it is what it is. I'm trying my best, at least, and that's why I'm going to continue doing these videos. So to start things off, I'm going to share the uh, stickers, which I'm not a huge fan of the stickers, but uh, they are inserts, and that's what this video is about. So we're just going to get right to it. Alex Burrows. Duncan Keith. Chris Verstig and Cam Ward and they are the only stickers I pulled this year. I'm not a fan of the stickers but that was one of the inserts for 2013-2014 for Opeachy so why not share them. One thing I did like about them is uh, or Opeachy that year is they do have some legend cards so let's show those. I do have three. Dale Hawkerchuk which I might be mispronouncing, let me know. Bobby Clark. And Brett Hall. So I think these ones are amazing. They're great for my collection. I don't have any other cards, so it's nice that I do now. Um, also, I have a couple more odds and ends. I have a Dallas Stars Opeachy Rings which I'm not a huge fan of the rings, but this, whenever I pulled it, was so flimsy. I guess there's 50 to collect, but they're so flimsy that I thought I was just going to snap it, so I had to put it in a top loader right away because I, th I thought it was going to come out of the uh, card form, and I I'd rather it in the card form. Uh, you can punch it out and form the ring, but for my collection, it's better to be in this form, at least in my opinion. And then I have uh, Johan Franet Franzen foil card. And then I have a foil card for Jonathan Bernier, which I love these foil cards. They're one of my favorite things to collect, I guess, in a way. And then next up, I have about 15 of the retro cards. And one thing I will say, since this is my first year collecting 2017, 2018, I prefer those retro cards over these ones. These ones don't look the greatest. The biggest flaw for me, for some of that mispronounces names anyways, is the fact that there's yellow in the uh, font for the name and I can barely read it so I'm going to try my best here but we're just going to get right into my retro cards Brian Gaunt Gaunta wow butchered that one I know I did Mark Fistrick Eric Tangrady I like the names that are on the that they're on the top though uh, Mike Richards, Steve Began, Bryce Salvador, Patrick Dwyer, I think there's a silent letter there but I did not pronounce it right, Victor Hedman, Derek Steffen, Jaroslav Havlik, Nick Bonio, Nick Antropov, and then the best ones that I uh, pulled this for that uh, two blaster boxes is Pekka Rin and Tyler Sagan. So those are my favorite two out of all those retro cards. They're the players I actually know. And uh, last but not least, we are going to do the retro cards, which have about the same uh, amount. So we're just going to share those. Starting off with Eric Griba, who was at Ottawa Senators. I will share one thing which I love about these. On the back, you see which round they were drafted that year and what their overall draft was. So that was really unique. You don't have to uh, guess if you're unfamiliar with them. It actually says on the back. Uh, Corey Con Conarcher. I think I always pronounce him right or wrong. Uh, Roman Serken. Servenka, sorry. Uh, Brian Flynn. Nicholas Blanchard. 
Leo Komo, Kom, Komarov, Mark Ancrobella, Arcobella, sorry, Antonio Roussel, Patrick Bordolo, which I actually have two of his because I actually got a pack from the dollar store and it was in it um, a while ago. Tyler Johnson, Andre Pallet. Barely see the names because it's really, it's not bolded at all. Michael Granlund, Zach Raymond, and Steve Al Altsky. Probably butchered that one. And then I also have two foil ones, so I'm going to share this one first. Uh, he, he was drafted, and it also says if they're a free agent, but this is Christopher Nilstrop. And then the top one, which I couldn't believe I actually pulled it. I was actually looking up the value and I was like, why is this so high? And whenever I turned it over, I'm like, oh, that's why. It is the rookie, marquee rookie card for a uh, foil for Nail Yankpov, who was the first round first pick from the Edmonton Oilers. So uh, first pick overall, round one. That's why it was so high for the value of it. This one here, I'm not a fan of the player. There is some cards I'd rather have. So I'm thinking of trading or selling this one off. Hopefully I get close to the same value. What I'm interested in the most, in my opinion now, is jersey cards. I absolutely love jersey cards now. I don't know what it is. Those and canvas cards. And then of course, young guns. And then uh, there's some others. And then one thing I haven't been able to pull this year has been um, autograph cards, autos. I haven't been able to pull any of them. So I am planning on getting a uh, OPG um, Platinum. I just haven't had the time. I had to buy some hockey card supplies first, so I had them. So expect to see that in the future. I will leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know which card is your favorite. Honestly, I couldn't believe the amount of inserts I got for this year. Um, normally I got a blaster box before for this year and I was only getting a couple things out of it But the fact that I bought two and I got so many like high numbers It was amazing for me, but so this video is already long enough comment down below if I mispronounced any names And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace